Hi everybody, my name's Matt and I'm AI sales engineer here at Avalites at our London headquarters. And today we're going to be going over how to use Notch in AI. So Notch is a very powerful uh, generative effects engine where you can create generative content without having to pre-render it on a system like Adobe. So to use Notch in AI, one thing you need is a Notch playback license uh, and that can be gotten from their website. And to use Notch with an AI, it integrates directly in like any other effect. So the first thing we're going to do is load in our Notch blocks. Those are the individual effects that you can create with Notch builders. So I'm going to open up my stage patch. And down here we've got a module for Notch. We'll just give that a double left click. And here we've got eight containers for the Notch player. So we can load up to eight different Notch blocks. And each of these Notch blocks can have different uh, layers of effects. So you can actually stack multiple effects into one block. So here I'm going to load up uh, Neon. And I'm going to load up another one as well, which will just go Delays. Great. So now those are loaded in. I can go ahead and close this window and go back to our main performance page. So double clicking the layer will bring up the layer controller and I can move this out of the way so we can see our screen. And in our first effects block I'm going to go to number 86 which is the notch effect. So you can scroll down until you reach 86. Make sure the effects opacity is all the way up. And I'm going to take this down to 0 to get to our first notch block. And there we go. We can see that happening there. This is kind of a neon effect. And the cool thing about notch is you can actually go in and change the parameters. So you can make the effect with like different threshold values or different, in this case, glow amounts and trails. So you can really tune in the effect to what you want in that instance on a show. And I can go through these different layers as well and see these different effects. And all of these are automatically ArtNet addressed. So controlling this with a lighting desk is really easy. And they're all in uh, DMX intervals, so from 0 to 255. And that's how you use Notch in AI. If you guys would like to know more, please check out our other videos. And I'll see you soon.